up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Always with the beer or whiskey, but he cooks responsibly. Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. I got Moonshine's Roadhouse with me today. Actually, I'm at his house. Whoop, whoop. I'm at the Roadhouse, ain't it? At the Roadhouse, babe. Roadhouse, babe. Yep. Y'all been asking about my brother, Sean. Y'all go check his channel out. Moonshine's Roadhouse. Yeah. I'll put the link up in the corner for you and down below in the description box. Thanks, man. What are we cooking today, Sean? I'm gonna uh, do some prime brisket. Texas style, hot and fast. Hot and fast on the Weber 22 and a half inch grill, y'all. Weber kettle, folks. Y'all hadn't seen me do hot and fast on the Weber kettle. We're doing it today. Today. And it's a joint operation here. Right, right. Got, got Moonshine helping me do the cook today. Right. He's also filming. So uh, y'all go check out his channel, like I said, for his video <laughs> on this brisket hot and fast on the Weber kettle. Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. Uh, Weber, uh, I mean, the, uh, the, the brisket itself is coming up to room temp. I just put a Texas seasoning, some salt and pepper, yeah, and a little nice touch too. of cayenne, a little touch of garlic powder. Uh, let me show you putting this brisket on and show you the arrangement of the coals for the Weber kettle. All right, guys, we just put this brisket on, and as you can see, the brisket is sitting between the charcoal. Uh, we've got charcoal baskets on either side over here. We're shooting for about a 400 degree temp for the uh, Weber kettle, and again, this is the 22 and a half inch, it's uh, Moonshine's kettle. And I gave it just a basic trim on the brisket. We still left a good bit of fat cap on there, as you can see. But I did, uh, you know, I got some shiners where I cut too deep. But that's cool, that's cool. That's more bark, man. Right. So let me get you a shot of the other side. You can see I pretty much cut the deckle part out right there. Because that's hard fat. It's not going to render out. You don't really need it. That's an 18-pound brisket from Costco. It's USDA Prime. Man, it's smelling good, isn't it, Moonshine? It smells wonderful, dude. Heck yeah, bro. Hell you yeah. You about ready to do this? I'm ready, man. I'm ready right, man. to do it. We'll bring y'all back here probably in another hour or so and check on it. Right. We'll check uh, the bark on it. Yeah. Perfect. So we'll be back shortly. <laughs> Stick around. All right, folks. We hadn't put any wood chips on. Uh, it's just been like five minutes since I last filmed, but we just said we're going to go on with some pecan wood chips. They're not soaked in water or anything. They're just going straight on like that. We're going we're gonna to put a lot of smoke on this brisket right at the very beginning. So a couple, two or three handfuls of them wood chips right on there, hot charcoal briquettes. Yeah, and that's just how I do mine. A lot of people like to yeah. soak them. I just throw mine on there and let it rip, tear chip. Yep, that's you know. how we're gonna do it, folks. Get the lid on. There we go. There we go. Wide open. Yep. We rolling. Time for a beer run, Sean. <laughs> I'm thirsty, you ready? Look, let's about go, to, man. About to sweat, Me boy. too, bro, me here. too, all right. All right, we're gonna make a beer run. Make a beer run, we'll be back. Buckle up. <laughs> All right, we're at the one hour mark and we're holding about 325 right there as you can see and we have not taken the lid off until now so let's check it out oh my word y'all check that out does that look gorgeous oh man that's cooking up real nice folks real nice yeah i'm liking the way that's looking tell you what i'm gonna go mix up a little spritz for this thing and probably uh you know just take those charcoals and kind of mix them around a little bit knock some ash off of them Probably throw some more pecan wood chips on there. And we'll let it go another hour. See you on a few. All right, guys, I got this little misting bottle here. I thought I'd show you what I put in for the spritz on this cook anyway. Got some regular uh, bone beef broth. I'll throw that in there, give it a little shake. <clears throat> I'm gonna add that to this bottle. Got a little, popped a little plastic right there, T-Roy. There you go. It's about a six and a half ounce, I think, six and a quarter, maybe eight ounce, I can't remember. We're not gonna be doing a lot of spritzing, so I don't need a whole lot. This is, uh, oh, it's eight and a quarter ounce. That's what this is. Also going on with a little bit of a uh, kosher dill. I just want the juice, just the juice. That's all I'm wanting. Pour a little bit of that juice into my container here. Not that much. All right, let me give us a little shake and we'll spritz the brisket. Just might throw some in the chimney, probably. Oh, uh, yeah, man. You know what? Well, you still got some of it. Just throw some on top, it'd be all right. We're gonna restoke this baby, man. Looking good from the neighborhood, man. Oh, yeah, it smells fantastic. It does, man. It's a fine looking brisket. It's been about a half hour since I last showed y'all. And I haven't spritzed yet. 
fixing to do that as soon as we stoke it. We're gonna throw some more wood chips on there. Oh yeah. You know it, man. Need some more smoke. Need some more smoke, baby. When I get up close like that, you can actually see it. I check out that brisket. Oh, I don't that look good. You want a little flyby, baby? That's sexy, ain't it? A little flyby for you. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Getting a real nice color on there with that pecan wood. Well, that's looking good, y'all. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. Holy oh, cow. Oh, me too, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, stoke it with some uh, charcoal, and then we're gonna put on some, some more pecan wood chips on there. Yeah, be good in the neighborhood, man. Light up when they get ready. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, you don't have to be real precise with your cooking when you're doing barbecue. You just have fun, man. Sitting out here, That's enjoying right. the scenery and the, the nice breeze, cool temps. Well, I'm telling you, it feels pretty good today. Well, I'd say about 85, so it ain't really cool, but... You really can drop five, <clears> though, so that's yeah. a good thing. What you spritz it there for, is there, Moonshine? 10-4. Ten 10-4, four. Ten good buddy. Yeah, let me spritz me right quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. Cheers, everybody. Hey, me too. Hey, Roy. Hey, let me get me up in here. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got, I got to spritz me too. Cheers to you, you, brother. I appreciate brother. you, man. Hey, thank you, man. Cheers. Thank y'all. Yes, that's sir. Good. That's good. Oh, good. That's good stuff. Mm. All right, man. Smokage. Yeah, we got some smokage happening. Uh, let's spritz this baby down, man. Oh, temple. I already got the spritz ready. I got some, um, heck, what I show y'all? Uh, beef broth, beef broth yeah. and some uh, dill pickle juice up in there. What does the uh, dill pickle di juice do? Does that? It gives a little bit of vinegary type flavor, man. Does it help break down anything or is it just more for flavor? It's more for flavor. It's, uh, it's already, brisket's already kind of cooked and got a little bark going on it. So uh, you, it's not really going to penetrate and tenderize the meat a whole lot. It may, but it's mainly for flavor. All right, man, we're looking good. We're going to check on good. it here. Check on it here again in about a half hour, folks. All right. All right, so uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, about... split these recording. Yeah, where we at here? Okay. Uh, at? About 350. All right. And uh, it's been a couple of hours. Look at that. There we Look go. At that man holy smokes that looks fantastic Troy. yeah see how that uh when you spritz it like that it helps form the bark on it mm -hmm. i think we need to hit it before we wrap plus that smoke uh yeah. You, yeah let's hit it one more time and then we'll also pour the rest of the uh, spritz in the uh foil do you want to set it on the foil then spritz it yeah we can do that that's cool yeah it doesn't really matter right. either way and we got a uh, we got some of this pitmaster foil over here in a pan well, I wish I could smell this. Oh no, my right. gosh. Watch my tongs break this one. That's a 18 pounds break. Big dude, man. I know, right? Hell to the yeah. You sure you got that? I got it, right. baby. Look at that. I'm actually running two cameras at once here, folks. That's freaking awesome. Woo, yeah, yeah. There she blows, folks. There she blows. Kind of kind of hard to see with the... Uh... Yeah, go ahead and give it, give it a good around. spritz. Can you get a better light from the other side? Maybe so. Let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me switch angles here, folks. Bear with me, bear with me. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's the foil that's throwing it off. Oh, I got you. This foil so bright. You got you. My gosh, that looks good. It really does. Yeah, and whatever you're not spritzing on, whatever's left over, just pour it down in there, in the uh, foil, when we wrap it. Man, oh, yeah. smells good. <laughs> I know, right? I'm telling you, man. That is some fine looking brisket, folks. Isn't it? Good gosh, I'm mighty. Yeah, just pour it down in the foil, man. You ain't gotta put it on the brisket. It, and that's going to uh, help form some steam, and that's going to help us cook the brisket even faster. Oh, Moonshine knows what he's doing over here, folks. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's right. Sometimes. All right. Now we're doing wrap that baby up. Now yeah, we're rocking. Now we're rocking and rolling. It's just good to be hanging out with you again, Moonshine. Yeah, I know, bro. That's awesome, dude. Where's your mate? Little moonshine, he ain't got no nerves in his uh, fingers anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrap this bad boy again. Yeah. 
nada. Not a good long yeah, gotta have a long wingspan for that, huh? Yeah. Wingspan almost wasn't long enough, man. That's right. All right. Oh, yeah. Miss she don't want to be on camera. Yeah. Oh, you do? No. Oh, oh, okay, she doesn't. <laughs> That's how we do it, folks. Great job on there, Moonshine. Thank you, so. Come over here, we're going to put it back on the pit, on the cooker. Just like that. Putting it back like it was. Yes. Same Fat side direction. up. Fat side up. Same direction. Change anything. So. Now all we have to do is uh, check it every half hour or so and see if we need more charcoal. Which we, uh, I don't know. You want to put some more in there now or no? Yeah. I'm going I'm to go ahead and throw a couple pieces in it while we got it open. All right. Might as well. No sense in putting any more smoke because it won't get into the meat now. That's right. Yeah, so that's what we got. Like that, folks. So, we're going to stoke it with some uh, charcoal briquettes again. We're using Kingsford today. I'm going to do that, and, uh, <laughs> and dogs are loving the smell, man. Oh, they love it, man. Sure are. We're going to keep, uh, keep this thing maintained close to what, 250 to 300? Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. All right. So, we'll do that, and we'll, uh, we'll check you back in a few. You want to say anything? If y'all, yeah, if y'all are doing a long cook like this, guys, check your charcoal about every hour, and just you know throw you just a handful on each side and regulate your heat how you want to. Um, six, seven. I just put seven coals on each side. That's all I'm doing. All right. Seven briquettes. That way it burn even. Yep. Kind of sort of time. Right. There we go. That. We're gonna put the lid on it. We'll be back. All right, guys, y'all welcome back here. What we're we doing, T. Roy? Well, it's been uh, four and a half hours or so. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna take five hours, but it's been four and a half hours, so we're gonna check the temp just to make sure that it's uh, doing what we think it is. And uh, the Air, airplane's Air, running. The airport's anyway, busy the, today. Uh, I'm gonna check the point in over here first. See if I can get this where you can see it actually. Yes, yeah, so this is this is probe 192. Okay. Show them 190 now because I just poked a hole in it probably. Nice. <laughs> Alright, and the flat over here. Flat's doing uh flat's looking pretty good. 210, 211. Oh nice. yeah, man. So flat's cooking pretty good. But we need to go a little bit longer for the point. We're gonna put this back on here and we've been uh we've been holding since we wrapped this thing, we've been holding about 275, 300, somewhere in that range. We had to add uh, charcoal briquettes once, right? Twice. Twice? Okay. Yep. Add charcoal briquettes twice since we wrapped. Yeah, but only like seven on yep. each side. Total of probably 14. 14, yeah. Yeah, for each of the two times. Yeah. So we'll bring y'all back here probably about another half hour or so. We'll check it and see what's going on. See y'all shortly. I'll let you do it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. You rolling? Uh, both the cameras rolling, babe. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Let's go, man. Let's right, go. Guys, y'all welcome back, man. We uh, hey, T. Roy cooks, and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, is good. Thanks, bro. Tell you what, dude, it slides in like a hot knife and butter. Well, that's done, then, man. Yes, indeed. Yep. Two little weight on the back. Two twelve on the. On the flat. Cool. Yeah, let's pull this bad boy off. Yeah, look, we're gonna pull it off here. We'll meet y'all back inside, folks. Oh yeah, look, Sean, Moonshine, <laughs> he got some boudin going over here, folks. Yeah, you know it's you, done too. <laughs> you know we, we got to have some boudin, right, bro? That's right. Oh uh, heck yeah, man. It's a little snack. Oh yeah, a little snack, While snack. Waiting for the brisket. Yeah, cause we're gonna let it rest. We're gonna let it rest about an hour or so. But it, this has been five hours, almost exactly on the dot. Five hours cooking, and. uh Man, it's gonna be some good eating, Sean. And I'm hungry. Oh yeah, okay. We'll be back inside when we're cutting it up, folks. <laughs> I'm messing with you, dude. <laughs> I was like, okay. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm rolling. All right, folks. We got this brisket. We let it rest in the foil for 
little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. We were fixing to cut this baby up. I'll tell you what, y'all check out that jiggly goodness. That's USD Prime, baby. That's good stuff right there. I know, man. Just jiggle, jiggle, yeah. jiggle. I love mm -hmm. me some jiggling mm -hmm. brisket, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna cut the uh, flat and the point separate right here. I'm just gonna kind of, actually, you know, you kind of cut it back here. But I would usually kind of cut it back here. I'm, I'm just gonna go down the middle. You know, we're gonna do this. Separate this baby out. We got some point section there. I'm gonna flip this around this way so y'all can see the flat. Mm -hmm. See the point? Got your nice smoke ring there, smoke uh, uh, moonshine. Look, mm -hmm. nice little smoke ring happening. All right. See the juices? Oh yeah, babe. Got some juices running. Oh out. yeah. Oh yeah. Down here too. Nice. Spin that around here for my camera, so y'all see that on my camera a little bit. There we go, folks. Look at that. That flat's nice and juicy, folks. Really, really juicy. Here's your point. Let's cut us a little bit, man. Cut it up. Cut some slices up over here. See where we're at. Kind of going backwards here, y'all. I would usually be going the other way, but we hey, moonshines. We have moonshines. Do what you gotta Ooh. do, babe. Dog, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. you need a towel. Uh, need, need something. That's pretty. That's pretty doggone hot, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cut this point section here all right so see this is the point right here oh that's hot bro that's seriously hot man mm -hmm. too hot for me to handle tell you what nice. though I'm, I'm gonna see if i can loop this around the, <laughs> the knife here <laughs> Woo, doggy there you go that's what you're looking for man see that is nice that's moonshine's camera i'm gonna show you on my camera here folks y'all see that that's nice right there. That's what you're looking for. Something that's going to bend over a knife or over your finger, but it's not going to break. And then you got the pull test here. All right. Pull test. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord, that's hot. That's hot. Holy cow. I don't have. Hey, I, Troy. I still hot. got nerves in my fingers. Hot, 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 hot baby. Boy. Hot, 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 baby. Hot. hot. Okay. I tried to tell him it was hot, y'all, but he don't listen to me. So. I tell you <laughs> what. Here, here, let me pull you a little piece here, Sean. Let's uh let's give this a try. Let's taste the flat. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna taste the flat here on my end here. I'm gonna right. get my camera over here. Mm -hmm. Alright folks. Here we go. Yeah. Got moonshine over here. He's tasting it. Mm. There's his good camera. Stuff. Yeah? Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That is good, bro. Kind of good. Oh yeah. I like. We're gonna try some um the point. Point. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Bring it back down here, guys. Y'all see the uh, brisket here? And this actually is part of the point right here. But I'm gonna flip this baby around. Oh, got a little straggler right there. I need to get that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, babe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Babe. Oh yeah, babe. All right. Now. That thing had a big flat on it. This this pretty good. It did, huh? It had Huge nice flat, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's still the flat. That's awesome, man. Huge flat, man. Woo. Boy, I tell you what. You taste a lot of that pepper because I put uh, yeah, that's good. That seasoning on there. Woo. All right, we're gonna cut this baby up. And with the point, you want to go 90 degrees to the direction you originally cut it because the the grain of the meat's running a different way. All right, so let me get this where you can see it. How about that? That's a lot of brisket. That's uh, that's some juicy goodness right there, folks. Oh, that's nice, huh? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Look at that juice running out of there, y'all. I know, man. If I press on it a little bit. Oh yeah. Point's always gonna be juicy. The flat on a uh, that's why I wanted prime, Sean. Yeah. Prime flat. It's still juicy. All right, folks. Right. Let me uh, let me rearrange here and uh, move this flat. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got the uh, the point here. And again, I'm going backwards because I'm at Moonshine's Roadhouse, folks. Again, y'all check out the description down below. <laughs> Woo! Doggy. Look at that. Tell me, that is, that's still really hot. All right, I'm going to cut another one here. Kind of messed up that cut a little bit. Looks good to me. <laughs> I know. This is just super tender, super juicy. Oh, man. Y'all check that out, folks. This is just, that is so hot. Holy cow. Hey, Troy. That's too hot to hold. That's hot, babe. It is. It's hot, man. 
That's all this because this is prime, man. It's prime, all, all that fat just renders within the meat itself. Does the prime get higher than the regular? Yes, or? that's why it usually really? cooks faster. Yes. Oh, cool. Ooh. Nice. Doggy. And y'all check out the bark, man. This oh, bark. Man. That bark that is, is serious. That's awesome. That bark is amazing, folks. That's T-roll camera. Oh, y'all just, y'all okay. just look at that. Oh yeah, that's what my camera's looking at. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at me? That's good, folks. All right, Sean. Moonshine, we gotta taste this, bro. Come on with it, babe. All right, let me cut us a little, little bit right here. Yeah. Cut us a little bit here. Oh yeah. I want some of the point. That's that's part of the flat right there. All right, so I'm just gonna cut some of this fat off mm. here a little bit because I don't want to fat myself. Oh, gee, that's so good. Oh, mm. There you go. Mm. Let's not buy a prime brisket, huh? I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. All right, Moonshine, you get yes, the bigger sir. piece. Oh, cool. There you go. Thank and you, uh, this is mine. Yeah, folks, again, Boy, look at that. check out that nice, oh, I mean, just licorice my. black, you know, licorice black, uh, licorice. That's what I'm saying. Licorice, licorice black. Licorice. Sorry, I'm thinking lacquer. We knew what he meant. Yeah, my dad used to spray paint stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we're using paint. lacquer. They don't make it, they, they won't let you use lacquer anymore, right? folks. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. All right, y'all. Here uh, we go. Here we go. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Mm. Is that tender or what? Mmm. Mm. That's almost good as mine. Dude, that's good. That's good. That's Dude, really, really, really good. That's pretty good. Uh -huh. Almost good as mine. It is. Seriously good. That's awesome, y'all. Really. That's very good, Damn bro. It, folks. Yeah. All right. Very good. Good flavor. Oh man. Nice smoke. Hell yeah. Not bad at all. Huh? Well, y'all know what? Mm -hmm. Looking at me? I'm looking, looking at, at you. Time to plate up. Let's get the grub on, y'all. There you go. Let me, uh, <laughs> y'all know some of my reading glasses, but there it is. Hey. There you go. There you go. Two brothers just having fun cooking. That's right. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Hot and fast on the Weber kettle. Right on. USDA prime brisket. Yeah. Pretty good stuff, huh? Good stuff, dude. You gonna get your good prime job. now? Oh, from now on. Prime brisket Absolutely. all the way, babe. Yeah. Good stuff. I'm telling you. Good really stuff. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I right, taught him man. everything he knows. He just won't tell y'all that. So, uh -huh. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Troy's a good coach, y'all. Yeah, we he, love you. Excellent coach. Love y'all. Go ahead. All right. Folks, <laughs> that's what happens when you get two YouTubers together, man. That's right. Y'all go check out Moonshine's Roadhouse. Y'all check out T-Roy Cooks, my Put brother. Put his channel up here for you. Y'all go check him out in the links down below. Appreciate y'all joining us. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Thumbs up. And by all means, hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. And thank y'all for coming to the Roadhouse. We appreciate you. Hope to get some new subs. Troy, thank you again. You bet. For cooking and uh, help out, doing man. this with me. We've been trying to do a video for so long, y'all. And uh, we finally got a chance to do one. So thank you a bunch, bro. Appreciate you inviting me over, man. This is my, my brother, man. Mm -hmm. Love you too, bro. We're going to get the grub on, Kerry said, let's eat. Let's so eat. it's time. Bye-bye, y'all. Later. <laughs> it's only midnight. <laughs>